Hey everybody, so it's the day after um, us getting here to New Orleans yesterday and um, we wanted to leave out about one o'clock but it's not quite making it, it's like a quarter to two, a little bit after 1.30. Um, and today we are actually gonna get on the sightseeing bus and um, take a, a look around um, the, the area, you know, the French Quarter, um, Bourbon Street um, and some of the other areas. Um, it's a, it's actually raining outside. Don't know how hard it's raining, but it's a double decker bus, so we'll just get on the bottom level, which is actually covered. Uh, then we'll probably get off the bus, get something light to eat because instead of Thanksgiving, because it is Thanksgiving Day, um, we will actually go to Fogo de Chao's, um, which is a Brazilian steakhouse, which is down the street from the hotel. Um, oh, and we're staying at Harris Casino, so we're right in the middle of everything, right by the river, right by the French Quarter, up the street from Bourbon Street, Canal Street, Praderas. The dome is just down the road as well, so we're in a good distance from everything. So enjoy us on our Thanksgiving holiday away from home. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real Is it that some hotels just don't believe in washcloths? Either that or maybe they just don't have as many. So we check in last night. This is a pet peeve of mine, so I'm just venting y'all. And we get here, there's three of us in the room. There's, of course, there's uh, three towels, three hand cloths, but one face cloth. So I tell them, hey, um, you know, can you bring us up some more face cloths? So, they bring up a bag, obviously, last night I must have been asleep. Um, they, you know, my husband must have got it from out the door. But, open up the bag this morning, and there's two towels and two hand cloths. No washcloths. So, we call again. Let them know, hey, you all bought a bag yesterday, but they didn't have any washcloths. I just need washcloths. So they come, they bring up another bag. Guess what was in the bag? Two towels and two hand cloths. Hand towels, no face cloths. So call down, now of course I get all the voicemails and everything. I guess you know maybe it's lunch, you know Thanksgiving potluck lunches or whatever they doing. But my thing is this, okay? What do they think people are washing up with? Their hands? I need a washcloth. I need something that's gonna exfoliate. I need something that's gonna get grit or, or or wash the day off of my body. I'm not the type to wash with your hands. Folk, back in the day when you wash with just a bar of soap in your hand or whatever, I don't know, I would have had to rip a shirt or something to wash up. I just don't get it. Now, it, okay, if, 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 if you don't wash with a washcloth, I know this is not even really part of this segment here, but just put in the comments if washcloths are not necessary for you all. And yes, I could use a hand towel, but who want to wash it with a full towel? It, it, it's just too much work. It's just it's too much work, too much work. But I was just venting, y'all. I'm just venting. Vent. Washcloth chronicles. So before we get on the sightseeing tour bus, we decided to eat um, here at Gordon Birch. Birch or Birch, I'll get it right at some point. I'll put the pronunciation on the screen. But um, they are actually an actual brewing um, company and they actually brew their own beer. Um, so um, just to give you an idea of what their beer menu looks like. They even have samples, $2. Do I plan on sampling some beers? I'm not really a beer girl, but I'll, I'll grow up eventually.
They also have a good wine and cocktail list and actually a full bar. So there's really no limitations to what you can drink here, but we're just starting off today. So um, I won't be sampling anything here, but we will go to the bourbon house at some point. Um, and I do plan on tasting and mixing some flights there. Their food selection is mighty good. They have all kinds of starters, salads, entrees, everything from fish, pizza, chicken, beef, ribs. They even have desserts. Bourbon Peach Smash consists of Maker's Mark Bourbon, one of my favorites. Peach puree and lemon sour. I never had a mango and margarita. This is good. I have to make this at home. And what'd you say this was? Mango pineapple margarita. Mango pineapple margarita. Okay, let's see what mango pineapple margarita. Now this puts me, this is good. This puts me in the mind of a, um, like a pina colada almost, right? Like a, like a Caribbean drink. I don't yeah, really, I don't even taste a tequila. Yes, it's more like a Caribbean drink. That's good, that's good. It's actually good. You looking for a drink now? Maybe. What do they have? Something that's something that's light. Uh huh. Look for something with okay. rum. I instantly looking in the cocktail section. Right. Yes. Well, they're both cocktail sections. Specialty and regular cocktails. Oh, What's the difference between specialty and regular? Um, usually, specialty are um, maybe things that they may not make all the time, or maybe they're made with specific liquors that you know may not be as frequent. They're not house wells, I guess. House, house, li you know, the house liquor, well liquor. Oh, mango rum punch is. Mango rum punch sounds good. Yeah, what else one, they got that with one rum? Has Sailor Jerry spiced rum in it. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, and then Mai Tai has... So, what do you like? I usually like mixed she drinks that have rum in it. <laughs> she don't know. She okay. just starting out. So, <laughs> all right, so She rum. likes fruity and rum. Okay. So, a Mai Tai. See? I was just right. talking about it. <laughs> she literally just said Mai Tai. Right. What kind of taco she got? Fish taco. Fish taco. Fish taco. All right. You say Cajun fish tacos? Okay. And they have famous fries. What you get, Helena? Um, EB Classic Burger. You said EG? GB. Oh, GB. Yeah, the neutral of the restaurant. Oh, okay. Open up that burger. Let me see what's on it. Ain't nothing on it. Oh, there's nothing in it? I, mean, I, I need to see the meat. So I got some fries and some ribs. So let's see, they smell like uh, chicken ribs, like, you know, like a Chinese ribs, like the ribs you get at the Chinese restaurant. Let's see how it tastes. But so far, so far everything looks good. Let's see if it lives up to the hype with the eyes. You know, your eyes, looks can be deceiving. Let's see. So we were told that there's a Thanksgiving Day Parade here. So guess what? We get to catch it right on time.
is that? Yes, phase two, and it's uh, mayor. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. okay. So mayor. some voting paraphernalia. We don't go here. <laughs> Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. 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 
the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. So we made it to dinner to Fogo de Chao, which is actually inside the JW Marriott Hotel. And we have seven o'clock reservations, but we're actually on time, actually a little early. It's about um, 6.55, so this is our Thanksgiving dinner. So we made it to our seat, but let me tell you, when I say this restaurant was crowded, we could barely fit in the front door. And you would think because it's Thanksgiving that people were home cooking, but they're not. steakhouse so basically how it goes is it consists of either you can just order a la carte or if you prefer you actually do the all you can eat beef so you get your salad uh, station where you get salads vegetables cheeses meats you know all kinds of sides they also put sides on the table such as mashed potatoes some form of a um, it's almost like a plantain but it's like a breaded type um, dish along with um, I forgot what the third item was um, some little puff balls which is full of air to me and then the best part is the meat part so they come around with about anywhere from 10 to 14 meats and when they come around with the 14 meats you turn it to green that means that you're ready for them to bring the meats around you get to choose you can say yes no give me more or hey I, please bring you know the other meat that you bought earlier and then when you're finished you're basically not finished for the day but maybe you just want to take a break then you just flip it over to red so um, they have you know Brazilian steakhouses and different types of steakhouses that offer the same type of um, process all over um, but Fogo de Chao happens, I know for a fact, is in um, Georgia, I uh, know it's in Vegas, and we are in New Orleans. So, another thing is uh, the drink. They are known for their Brazilian rum, uh, which is cachaça, and their famous drink that they have and make with that is a caipirinha. So the caparania is basically made with their cachaça rum um, and some sugar um, and some fresh lime and basically they make it in the glass and Fogo de Chao actually have their own cachaça. You cannot buy it at the store. You can buy Brazilian rum at the stores. There's so many of them but um, Fogo de Chao actually makes their own cachaça and that's what they use at their bar. It does not mean that they don't have other Brazilian rums there. But when you are at their restaurant and you order a caparinha, that is what they're going to use. So to make the drink, you would basically just muddle um, a few pieces of fresh lime with the lime and all and mix it with some sugar in the bottom of the glass like you would do an old fashioned with bitters and sugar. And you would muddle it until it becomes like a little juice syrup and then you would actually pour your cachaça in and then mix it up uh, along with ice or you can put it in a shaker and do it either way but um, here they actually make it in a glass so 
Cheers. That's my favorite part about coming here. So these are the little air puff rolls I was telling y'all about. It's filled with nothing but air. I really don't know why. It is their mashed potatoes, of course, self-explanatory. It tastes good. We just waiting for our plantains though. Um, for the table. Puppy wanted some plantains. I, I I don't eat them because they're not the plantains that I'm used to. Um, that's why they call it fried bananas. It's not like your Jamaican plantains. It's, to me, it's, it's, it's a little different. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, yes, yes, most of that. I've been waiting for that one. Um, medium to medium well. strawberry caparania so it's just like the caparania except it has strawberry something in it i gotta look it up but my guess is probably a strawberry liqueur or something what's the name of your dessert what is it cross leches okay so it's like cross leches tress leches okay three so it's like three milk so it's okay. like vanilla sponge with um Ooh, milk so nice. into it Hubby got his to go. He got creme brulee, which y'all already know is better when it's in the dish that it gets made in, but he wants it to go, so. Creme brulee? Okay. So mine is a papaya, but this is one that is good for digestion. So y'all remember in my Farino distillery, where they give you like the little cafe, um, the like the, the coffee type chocolate. That's what this is. And you pour it on top of the papaya because it's very good for digestion. So I'm gonna pour it on here and trust me, it works wonders, but it's so tasty. washcloths why the hell they send us more freaking towels do this make sense look at it i can open up a freaking lunch you know my own housekeeping of towels with all these towels what we got one two three four five six seven seven towels and one two three four four freaking hand towels this is out of three requests no washcloths. And if they don't have washcloths, then just say they don't have washcloths. Something. But this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. 